Welcome. Hi, I'm Corey Zarek, Director of Data and Digital here at the Beck Center. Data and digital technologies can support our public interest institutions to provide services, yield better outcomes for the public, and also save time and money. When our public interest institutions are effective, we trust that they will support our communities, especially when they need them most. The data and digital team is activating the growing network of public interest technology groups for more innovative service delivery that uses cutting edge tools and practices to reimagine societal outcomes. Our team produces action oriented research and high impact projects that emphasize how data and technology can be scaled to connect people in ways that inspire. We also bring together people with cross-functional skills to collaborate on shared goals through networks and communities of practice. We are inspired to inform policy with people-centered and tech-centered practices. We are inspired to modernize access to services that people rely on. We are inspired to rebuild trust in our institutions. And where does that inspiration take us? to a number of great projects with talented fellows and students. When people need help the most, why is it so hard to apply for public benefits like unemployment? Here at the Beck Center, we're showing how people are using human-centered design, data, and technology to make it easier to access the social safety net. My work at the Beck Center is with the State Software Collaborative, where we're helping government agencies make their software better through collaboration. It doesn't make sense for 50 states to buy 50 near identical applications from the same couple of big software vendors for $50 million each. So we're helping states figure out how to collaborate so they can pool their funding, focus on how to address the needs of the software's users, and break the cycle of broken governance resulting from broken digital infrastructure. I work on the Responsible Data Sharing Project, which is focused on reforming and streamlining best practices for data sharing governance so that private firms, social enterprises, government agencies, and others can come together and engage in data sharing more easily. Now more than ever with the explosion uh, of data, this project's potential is, is unlimited um, and will serve to create a robust framework uh, that data stewards um, and decision makers alike uh, can confidently rely upon and utilize. The CDO is an extremely important role and we're seeing the importance even more so today in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Across the nation, we're hearing governors, scientists, epidemiologists, and state citizens talk about the need for data to inform things such as school reopening, business reopening, and also how we safely navigate this world. Without data, we'd be lost as to the spread of COVID-19. When states begin to make data-driven decisions, they can truly impact the lives of their citizens on a greater scale. Decisions that are informed by data have the opportunity to reach populations we never knew might be affected by the pandemic. By looking at a mosaic of data that exists at the state level, we can truly understand where the gaps are in the needs of citizens. The Upscaling the Government Tech Workforce Project is examining where resources to support the digital service field already exist within the network of government digital service leaders, as well as bringing colleagues together to centrally catalog those resources, make them more findable and useful, and consider what other resources should be created. I am working to improve the child welfare system by working with people on the front lines who serve children in foster care and their families, and identify tested best practices that have already been in play at the ground level and can easily be adopted and scaled by child welfare practitioners pretty much anywhere. Our goal is pretty straightforward immediately. It is to simplify the licensing process and make it as easy as possible for kids to be placed into homes with people that they already know and love. As you can see, we're pretty busy around here and have a lot to work on. You can keep up to date with everything going on here by subscribing to the Beck Center's newsletter. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Hope, Hope to see you soon. soon.